everybody. Welcome to Setta's Place. I am, like I said, still in Colorado. I'll be here for uh, for a few more days. Um, I'm thinking Sunday, but I don't know for sure. So today's video is, I'm trying to get the glare off. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, today's video is a sit and chat. So it's really casual. I'm doing some crocheting with my favorite yarn and my favorite hook. Got my new pajamas. I got this at Walmart. Isn't it adorable? It is so cute. <laughs> I got these at Walmart. Um, the other end has the rest of the <laughs> of the giraffe on it. And it says, I love long so weekends. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it was cute. So anyway, um, but I, I thought it was adorable. But anyway, so um, it's just a sit and chat kind of catch up on some things, show you what I'm working on. Um, not a whole lot. Um, I mean, there's a lot I could say, <laughs> but I'm not going to keep you uh, long t today or tonight. I just wanted to show you a few things and crochet while I talk. And then, um, and a couple things I forgot. Um, the one thing I forgot to show you all because remember i told you all i went to this celestial seasoning tea factory for a tour and um I, there was one comment i'm gonna i'm gonna pull it up hold on um from lydia h and she says now seta i just know that you didn't go to a tour to celestial teas and you didn't buy any tea so come clean how much and what flavors did you buy and she has all kind of smiley faces and laughing. And uh, I had forgot to show you all what I bought, which I only bought one thing. So that was good. I restrained. <laughs> but I did buy some tea. This is what I got. Sleepy Time Extra. And they said that it's really good. This is that actually puts you to sleep, you know, without you know, a bunch of stuff. Um, it's, it's caffeine free and it just promotes relaxation with calming mm, and some word I can't pronounce. Oh, it's right there, you know, it's not focusing. <laughs> but anyway, so this is what I bought and it smells like peppermint. I didn't even know what flavor it was supposed to be, but it smells like, it smells like spearmint. Let me see. Um, but I haven't tried it yet, but, um, but yeah, and I had not seen anything like this, you know, in the stores and they had another one called, um, extra care or something like that, that you no know, complete care, which was another one. I was like, I have never seen some of these, but anyway, but this, so this is what I bought Lydia. <laughs> you got me. And I, I had just forgot. <laughs> oh, and then the, the. Chapstick I told y'all that uh, Wendy gave me. This was it. Right there. Been using it. But anyway. Okay. So that is it for the tea that I bought. And then. So I just want to crochet and hang out with you for a few minutes. Tell you what's going on. Um, I'm still just resting. I am sure am enjoying my rest time <laughs> because uh when i get on that road it's gonna be another you know some more long journeys um i'm not sure exactly which way i'm gonna go yet um i think i know what i'm which direction i'm gonna go and i want to explain i do want to explain this part um because <clears throat> some people might think you know once i decide where i'm gonna go like, what said is crazy. She don't know her geography. <laughs> Why is she going that way? Because that's not how you get to Alaska or not the direct way to Alaska. But um, most of you, if you've watched the, the, pre the previous video where I explain, you know, more in depth about this journey, it's not just me moving to Alaska. It's, uh, it's a spiritual, you know, the Lord has, you know, God is guiding me to where the the place he wants me to be from in my life and things I want to do. 
because y'all know that is my in my faith and my belief and um so this is not just a get to alaska as fast as you can as you can journey um he let me know in the beginning that this this is about the journey not the destination um and i've i've met some awesome people so far just in the time i have been um on the road and i know there's gonna be more and i know there's reasons for you know he has me doing what i'm doing <laughs> so um i might not be taking the direct route to alaska um so y'all just hang out with me and see where i what what state i go in or what direction i decide to take off <laughs> on and uh so i hope you stick around to see you know what happens <laughs> and um but oh uh, oh then i also wanted to share with you i am using this book here now i'm not a reader <laughs> I, I used to like to read but i was really really into audiobooks i worked in a place for like 11 years and it was tight it was data entry and you could listen to things while you work. But anyways, I don't listen to audiobooks back then. I mean, I had like all kinds. So I didn't read read books that often. But um but I I want to get back into it. But anyway, I the the book I'm using right now, it's actually more like a devotional. And it's called Adventure. It's the 90 day spiritual challenge by Dawn, Akeisha Dawn Sowers. Now, I know this person. She is awesome. I know the author of this book, and she is an amazing person. Um, when I lived in Chester, Virginia, um, we weren't to, been to the same like uh, church or whatever, you know, organizations. And um, her and her husband are like some powerful people. But anyway, <laughs> um, when she wrote this, I knew I had to have it. So I got it back when she first uh, released it. And But this was even before I knew I was going to be going to Alaska, even an inkling. I, I knew I would be moving somewhere. I didn't know where. And so I was been holding on to this book because, you know, the timing. <laughs> and so, because this is an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> and it is perfect, perfect timing. This book is awesome. Um, it, it's simple, and it's not. It's not like a whole bunch of reading. There's things to, where you can write, and there's you know, it's like um, daily, ninety day, you know, things for each day. But um, it's just an awesome book, and it's it's amazing. But anyway. Um, I'll link this book down below because you can get it on in Amazon if anyone is interested in doing this book. Do it with me along with my, because you can start at any time. It doesn't have to be exactly when I started. Um, but if you're interested, I will link it below. But um, but yes, this is an awesome, awesome book. So that's the, like the, and, and of course my Bible, I do and put them together, you know, work with them together. But that's what I use in the mornings when I get up. I start my day off with that. <clears throat> then I go about my day. Um, now this, like I say, this this episode is just, if you want to hang out and talk to me, there's a little bit of crochet talk. <laughs> so if you're only here for crochet, um, I'll, still, I'll do that right now. <laughs> that way, you know, you can be here for a little bit. If you don't hang, if you don't have to listen to the rest, if you don't want to. But, um, but this is... Y'all probably can guess. And this is going to be a gift, so I can't tell you a whole lot about it in case the person is watching. Um, but it's my favorite yarn. Y'all know my yarn I love. So um, I'm working on this. And let me show you real quick. Oh, I wanted to show you all the finishing of what I did for the calendar cow for August. The stitch I picked and how I put it together. Um, I will link below the tutorial I used for part of this. And the other part is just um, half double crochets and single crochets. But um, 
Now, it looks a little wonky, <laughs> but I don't care. For me, it doesn't matter if the if it's uneven. It's more about the character of the the, the colors and the and the story behind this piece that we're making. I'm not worried about it being odd shaped. And this is a little this is in and this is out. I'm not I don't worry about that part. That's for me. But um so let me show you what I did. This is what August looks like. Starting from the black line and coming up. Let me see what I have for calendar. Yeah, here it is. Here is the picture. And this is Mm -hmm. When I come up, this is what I come up with. <laughs> so, okay. So if y'all want to use the same stitch, now this this stitch is a little harder. Like I said, to keep it even, so you'd have to really count and make sure it's right. But I didn't care about it being uneven. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So that's what that's what I did for August. Another thing I'm working on, I just started tonight. Um, my y'all know my son just bought a house, and um, the not not for the B and B, but for his part of the house, his theme is um, but well, one of his themes is uh, pineapples. He's into doing the pineapples, and um, so I was gonna make crochet pineapple. What good crochet mom <laughs> wouldn't make a crochet pineapple? <laughs> You know, I had to do it. I had to figure it out. So I did get a, I found a um, tutorial and I'm trying it and um, I'm having a little trouble. I think my count is off. So I'm at the very beginning, but this is what it looks like so far. This is the bottom of the pineapple, of course. And this will be the sides. And um, I had trouble with my, these baubles lining up. So I had to take it loose. So now I got to recount and might have to restart. I might have to do this part over, make sure our count is right. This part here. But anyway, I'm not, but I just started that. This, you know, so that is, and this is uh, Brunette Maker Home Deck in color gold. And this was on clearance for $3.50 at Walmart. I got it. I think before I left, I think I got this in Virginia, Walmart. But um, so that's what the other project I'm just working on, taking my time. I might, like I said, I might have to start over a little bit to get my count right. But uh, but yeah. But anyway, so that is. I think I saw the crochet talk. <laughs> and um, but yeah. So I thought I would just jump on and um, kind of just hang out for a minute because I'm not doing the, um, I used to call it vlog, I used to call it vlog August <laughs> because that's, I didn't know what it was, but it's vlogtober. It's a vlogtober. No, that's for October. See, vlog, vlogist. It's where you vlog every day in August. And I called it something else all the time. I called it Blog August or something back last year. <laughs> but um, I'm not doing it this year. I'm doing a lot of videos, but it's not. I'm not doing it every day, as y'all have seen so far. Um, so, but when I'm once I'm on the road, I'm gonna try to do that every day. Once I get back on the road, which I don't know exactly what day that's gonna be. Um, just like I said. Just making sure I'm, to you know, doing going in the right direction, and um, but yeah. So this is this has been an awesome, awesome trip for me. Um, once in a lifetime kind of deal here, you know, and um, but anyway, but I just wanted to hop on real quick and say hey, to get, hey to everybody. And um, I'll let y'all know I am reading the comments. I just d can't uh, answer everybody because there's a lot of comments. <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate you commenting and watching. I truly do appreciate y'all watching the videos. And um, also thank you for watching the ads. 
<laughs> because it, like I said, it does every little bit helps. Cause, um, uh, so yeah. <laughs> um, so I tried to heart the heart the comments. You know, I read it, and I do want to do a sitting Masetta where I answer some of the comments. So I might do a short one and answer a few of them, and um, you know, go from there. And I <clears throat> then I'll definitely let y'all know when I get more of this done and show you a little bit more. Uh, but most of y'all know what it is <laughs> if it's this material. I mean, if it's this yarn, y'all know what it's going to be. <laughs> so I just don't want to say it in case this person is watching. I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> and um, it seemed like there was something else I wanted to tell y'all. Um, oh, um, some people had asked about um, the Patreon that I started. I haven't, uh, I've uploaded the, the main introduction video, but I haven't put any videos on there yet um, for the trip. And the reason I, like I said, I started that was to, I'm going to do a little bit more personal or, you know, personal updates on there. Because, you know, this channel is for crochet and and tea <laughs> and maybe in a little bit of of life updates so i thought i would put that on there for people who are you know who might be interested in more details and um more life stuff with me and um and also i want to use it as a video diary of my own so i can look back on this adventure <laughs> for, you know, and I could, you know, possibly have it for my grandchildren when I get me some <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah, so I, I'm trying to keep the, this one, this, the YouTube part, um, you know, a little on the shorter side, it didn't like I've been doing nothing. I didn't want to, don't want to stress anybody out. <laughs> and they're like, well, she's on there again. And she's not, you knew nothing, no yarn. <laughs> but, um, uh, so anyway, I guess, I guess that is it for right now. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I had to buy, I had to buy a new tripod, tripod, this thing here. To, I had to get it today, actually, because um, it's not on. The picture is not on here. Oh, this thing right here that holds your phone. On my other one, it broke, so it didn't make it in the in the um, moving. That got broke, so and I used my phone to record, so I had to go to Walmart and get another one of these. So, so that's what I'm using right now. <laughs> so. Um, and it does good. I like this little thing because you can use it for your cell phone, a camera, or this kind of camera. And uh, you can extend it tall and short and move it around and everything. So I think it's pretty cool. But um, but anyway, I see it always going on about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to let you all go. Just wanted to jump on real quick. And um, thank you all for all the awesome comments and the wonderful things y'all are saying. It really encourages me. And um, it really does help when I get, you know, read y'all's comments. I feel like y'all are all my friends. <laughs> that y'all care about me. And uh, having good, you know, wishes and prayers on this journey. And also, because y'all know I like to do... Uh, prayer request um I, I have my facebook group where i do the list and i've been adding to that because there are a few more people that um i put on that prayer list <clears throat> but the the one since i just did the video uh, the other day is wendy the one i went to the tea tour with her son i like to ask y'all to keep him in you all in your prayer and um I have been, and I will continue, and I ask you all to do so. His name is Tom. Um, he's having some issues. I mean, I won't go into details. Just ask you to pray for Wendy's son, Tom, 
and um, just keep him in your in your prayers. Um, but but all right, I guess that is it for right now. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be here for a few more days, probably till Sunday, unless you know, either longer I might stay longer, or I might head out earlier. I don't know. Um, but anyway. I guess I will talk to you all later and have a blessed night. <laughs>